So today we're gonna to make some nice, hot, homemade chili. So stay tuned. It's Holly and thanks for joining me again for one of my super easy camping recipes. You know when you're up camping it's so easy to just pop open some already pre-made chili and pour it in your Dutch oven which is fine because I'm all about super simple and easy. But tonight I'm going to show you how to make just an easy homemade chili that's going to be such a treat for everyone. So hey, if we haven't met yet, our YouTube channel is about all things camping. Whether you tent camp or RV camp, our goal is to just help you have a great camping experience. You know, we're up in the Uinta Mountains and can I just say over the last week, it has turned chilly. You know, when that sun goes down over the mountain, it's going to be very, very cool. So I thought what a perfect time to make some chili. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Alrighty, so to get started, I have already gone and cooked two pounds of ground beef. You know, it's so much easier to get all of your ground beef cooked when you're home, just takes away some of the, you know, hassle when you get up here. So we've got two pounds of ground beef. Um, what we're gonna add next are some diced tomatoes. Now I usually add some tomato sauce, but these diced tomatoes actually come with the tomato sauce in them, so. If it's just the regular diced tomatoes, you may want to add some tomato paste, but I think we're going to have enough with what we have here. I've also have some hot chili beans. Now, feel free to use whatever kind of beans your family likes. Um, I really like just the chili beans, but I'm also going to add some kidney beans, but you could add pinto, I mean, whatever you like. Add these beans in. Now I'm putting four cans in. We're gonna mix it up really good, see what our consistency is. Now I did add the three cans of tomatoes. However, I really like it tomatoey, so I am gonna add an extra can, but this is optional. You know, the thing about making, especially chili, is you can do whatever your family likes. It's just about adding and mixing and adding and mixing. Now I do have a full onion that I've gone ahead and already chopped up at home. We'll add that in. Ooh, that's gonna give it a nice flavor. You see how easy this is? Oh, already it smells so good and we haven't even started cooking it. Now I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. And then you know, certainly you could go and add your own seasonings. I just actually buy the chili mix because it has all the seasonings already in there. To me, that's just easier, especially when we're up camping. You know, you don't have to bring all your seasonings, but that's just me. So we've got two packages of just regular chili seasoning mix, and that is going to be just perfect to make this chili delicious and over the top amazing. And get it stirred really good. Now, I've got the coals over by the fire getting ready. We're gonna be using 24 coals, but because we're not baking this, we're just cooking, all 24 coals are going to be on the bottom. Now, we are gonna cover it and let it cook for about 30 to 45 minutes. One thing, you do wanna make sure that you stir this. You know, you get one chili bean that burns and it's gonna make the whole chili taste burnt. So you wanna keep your eye on it as it's cooking. But you see how thick and rich that is? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be yummy. Now when we get done, we're gonna add some cheese, some sour cream and some wonderful tortilla strips. But let's take our chili over to the coals and get it started cooking. Oh yeah, that's yummy and it looks nice and thick. Ooh, and rich. Okay, let's dish up some. Ooh, doesn't that look so delicious, especially as for these cooler nights while you're up camping? Now, a couple things. Uh, you can add, 
You could add some green chilies, some garlic, some jalapenos. You know, it's just, it's all about what your group is gonna like. Now we've got kids up here tonight, so I went a little bit more mild, but just know you can add things that make it work for your group. I'm gonna sprinkle this with some cheese here. We're gonna add a little bit of sour cream and then some fun tortilla strips. That'll add just a fun, nice crunch. Okay, there we go. So what do you think? You know what a fun meal for a cooler evening. Great camping recipe for the fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. We would also love to have you subscribe to our channel. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye-bye.